Hey guys, so I am working on my second ever voiceover video. I know that everybody's like, oh, I really like hearing you talk, so I thought maybe this will be the best of both worlds because sometimes it's loud where I'm working and um, I still want to take, make the videos for you guys, but then I also don't want the video to be super loud. So this is kind of the best of both worlds, hopefully. Um, I am making our lavender soap. Um, this is the lavender from Be Scented. Um, all the fragrances that I used this day making soaps were all from Be Scented. Um, and it turned out really, really pretty. I'm really happy with the way the soap turned out. And um, I, I sped up the making part, um, but I did not speed up the cutting. So I just added oatmeal and clay uh, and just added um, cream powder, heavy cream. I noticed somebody commented in one of the other videos that they didn't see me add any cream. That's because I've been using powdered cream just because it makes my life easier. And I don't really use cream in my house. So I can go long periods of time in between soaping and uh, I don't want the cream to go bad. So um, using the powder ensures that uh, it stays good. And I could always um, mix it ahead of time and actually make cream if I wanted to, but I didn't. So I've actually had other people ask me the colors that I'm using. So that was Magic Purple from Be Scented. And... Um, titanium dioxide. I don't like how the purple turns out in the big portion. As you can see, it's kind of grayish because I didn't add a whole lot. So we added some, um, the pretty purple to it and it really gave it a pretty color, what I was looking for. I wanted a pale, uh, pretty purple. So I was happy with that. The smaller container turned out nice and, um, I'm really happy with it. We're adding the fragrance. We're going to stir, and then we're going to start pouring after I clean up the mess. I'm notorious for making a mess, but that's okay. You guys know that. So we have been super busy at my house and getting ready for a festival that is coming up um, in the end of September. It's the very last weekend in September, so we are gearing up for that. Um, I have another six batches of soap to make. Um, I'm cutting it really close. I have about four and a half weeks before my show so it's cutting it close uh, this is a video that I actually figured out hey you know turn my mold this way and you guys can see me pouring the soap better so yeah um, I'm really liking the camera angle um, I feel like I have more room to soap I don't have the camera beside me um, so I really like that but um, I don't know why I was going to use not my hanger tool but like the chopstick and do a chopstick swirl and I don't even know what I was thinking, but I never did it. I just did the drop swirl and I left it, but it was okay because it turns out great in the end. So it's no big deal. Um, so a lot of people have asked uh, how the kids are doing. They're doing great. Noah is really, really enjoying kindergarten. He loves his teacher. Um, he actually cried the other day because he thought he would never get to see his teacher again when he um, doesn't like when he's out of kindergarten and you know I had to sit him down and kind of explain to him that yes he will get to still see his teacher that she will always be there and he would be more than welcome you know to go down and visit her um, in his free time so he was okay with that once he kind of realized that oh yes you know I get to see her again so I'm um, he's loving it <laughs> Now, Austin, when he started school, he had, like, terrible, terrible trouble. Um, he had, Noah has the same kindergarten teacher that Austin did. And um, Austin did not want to go to school. He wanted to stay home. So it was really, like, uh, <laughs> it was a totally two different kids, that's for sure. Um, Noah is all about, I'm like, do you need me to walk you in? Nope, nope, I'm good, I'm fine, I don't need help or anything. So I'm like, oh, okay, you know. So he goes in fine, he doesn't need me, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm up by myself now. You know, and of course, Austin's now in second grade, so he doesn't, you know, 
doesn't get upset or anything about um, me not walking him in or, or him going to school. He's fine with it. But it's just total shock change between one kid to the other. I've never walked Noah in. Uh, he's never asked me to go in. He's never got upset. He's perfectly fine with going into school, <laughs> which I love. So, anyways, um, as you guys can see, the, the swirls turned out really pretty in the soap. I really like the colors. It smells fantastic. I got soda ash on the top, which I'm not worried with. Um, some people are like, really get upset with soda ash. Don't worry about it. It's just aesthetics. There's not nothing wrong with your soap. Um, and I've never had a customer comment about it. So, but if it does bother you, you can always wash the soap off and it'll wash it away and that's that. But, so this is my second video. I'm using a new program because from what I read, uh, YouTube is going to be taking out their um, editor program. So I've been trying to find out, figure out new programs. So this is a new one. It's called Filmora. Um, and it's really good. I like it so far. It's really easy to edit the videos. I've never done voiceovers and I can do those now. Um, and it's really easy to add music. Um, I'll do another video or two and have music to it and not talk the whole time. You know, y'all know I can talk the whole time. That's no big deals. But we are coming to the end of the soap. We've just got, I think, one or two more cuts and we will be at the end. And, uh, well, doesn't that look like a funny nose on there? See, that's another thing about doing the voiceover. I get to watch the video with you again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.